Hey everyone, it's Rock for Cash, People's Champ, coming to you live from Cash Stadium. Yes, it's finally happened, the cash. The cash is on the board. And beautiful, well done, Cash. He's had a win this week, but we'll go into a bit more detail about that as we uh, review what happened in week seven in this beautiful game we call the FNFL. As you can hear in the background, we've got Celebration playing by Cool and the Gang. This could be the only song that could be gone this week. Cash is very excited that he's actually on the board. So let's have a look, see what happened. Okay, week seven, first game we had um, as we talked about, the Rock for Cash, 89.56. Betting Young Remix Killers, 50.94. Cab just didn't turn up. He couldn't find the Cash Stadium. Cash hit his stadium this time. But, geez, he was unlucky. He was very unlucky. Came up against A.A. Ron Rogers, 42.76. Second highest score of a quarterback since we've been playing this game in... Since 2012, Drew Brees had a 44.3 in um, 2015 when uh, Paul Cow had to play the Kelpie. So twice he's played the highest scoring uh, quarterback. So other than that, Butker got 11 and the Saints got 10 for young remix killers. Gonzalez, the Mexican kicker from Arizona got 10 and the Buffalo Bills got 13. But yeah, 39 point win to the cash. Very, very excited. It's been a long time coming. He's been a stiff in a few of these games that he's played in, but um, good to see the cashes on the board. This is this is what makes the FNFL community buzz when the cash is winning. Um, you know, when he's losing, everyone's walking around, their heads down, everyone's just feeling feeling shit out. But now you can just feel a spring in the step, really. Um, the trades from last week seem to work to treat. Um, just the world's a better place when the cash is winning. In the next game, um, Moneymaker 7 went over to Team Mazza Stadium. Um, Team Mazza went down in this one, 107.92 to 117.08. Uh, a bit stiff here, Maz. Um, second highest score in the league for the week, and you happen to play the guy who gets the highest score. So. You're not going to be too disappointed with your team, but um, again, that's three losses in a row. Mm, dare I say it, is the train getting derailed? We're not sure, we're not sure, but um, great win by Moneymakers 2. Sorry, 2 as in T-double-O, not Moneymakers 8. Fucking numbers everywhere. Uh, okay, for Moneymaker, let's see who did well for him. Josh Allen got 19, Jacobs got 13, Hill got 13, the new boy from the cash. Everett, the new boy from the cash, got 11. Murray got 27 off the waiver. Jaguars got 20. So, you know, a bit of uh, waiver and trading there. Got Moneymaker over the line. Team Mazza, Watson got 12. Gurley got 11. Another one from the cash. Barkley back got 14. Hilton got 13. C. Edmonds from Arizona, 33. Fuck me. And Lutzi, 10 points. So, a bit stiff there, Maz, but well done to you, Moneymakers 8. Uh, in the next game, Smooth Criminal uh, was facing Shiva Kamini, and Smooth Criminal got the chocolates, 94.14. Shiva Kamini, 81.16. For Smooth Criminal, Elliot got 20, Cook got 26, Graham got 12, Cooper got 10. Uh, for Shiva, Tom Brady got 11, Sony Michelle got 21, and the Rams' defense got 23. This was starting to get a little bit close, but you know, Nickety had to make up a lot in the last day with the um, the Patriots. They beat the Jets 33-0. They couldn't do much more, but yeah, I think where um, where Nickety went down here, just a couple of players not firing for him. But well done to you, smooth criminal. That's uh, what two wins in a row, four losses in a row for uh, Shiva. Yeah, not too sure what's going on there for uh, the old Shiva, but um, we'll just have to wait and see uh, if he picks his game up or not. Uh, in the next game, uh, the Browns took on Money Make, uh, sorry, Mitch's Mongrels. The Browns, too good, 30 point winners, 107.32. Mitch's Mongrels, 77.86. Yeah, look. Not close, really, this one. Uh, the Browns just keep on keeping on, as I keep saying every week. Can't tip against them. They keep winning. Uh, for his side, Jackson, the quarterback from the Ravens, 22. Fournette, 14. Lockett, 18. Thomas, 13. Jones, 14. 
For Mitch's mongrels, um, Hardyman 12, Ebron 13, Fairburn 11, and the 49ers 15. So the Browns just keep on keeping on. Um, might just be a hiccup for Mitch's mongrels. They've been playing well at the moment, but the Browns are on fire. They've won seven in a row. They're our top team. Can't tip against them at the moment. Well done to you, Brown. In the next game, I tipped this. This was the upset I tipped last week, that Little Waiters would beat the Dark Side. Little Waiters, 95.44, beat the Dark Side, 90.14. Um, this was a close game all the way through. Little Waiters just getting over the line at the end. Uh, Russell Wilson got 13. He's going to be a good player, that kid. Um, Jay Brown, not Josh Brown, but Jay Brown. The Bills, 14. Westbrook 13 and the Ravens defense 21. On um, the other side, Derek Henry got th uh, 16. Waller, great effort by him, 24. And Myers, the kicker from uh, the Seahawks, 10. But the news is still circling around Patrick Mahomes. I mean, 7.24 in this game. The, the news is better that it's only going to be uh, three weeks. So I did talk to Damo yesterday. We both read an article where they're actually talking about maybe Patrick Mahomes coming back and playing this week. Uh, I think they'd be stupid to do that. Um, but you never know with the Chiefs. They're like that. They'll, they, they walk to the beat of their own drum, those kids. I'll give you the drum. Um, so we'll just see if that uh, Patrick Mahomes thing has a bit of an uh, impact on... Well, it won't be a bit of a fucking huge impact on the dark side if he can't get back. He's got Matt Stafford. He had 26 on the bench. So, you know, if he played Matt Stafford, he would have won. But then again, if my grandmother had balls, she'd be my grandfather too. So bad luck to you, dark side. That's two in a row, uh, two losses in a row. And Danielle's now won three in a row. So look out for little waiters climbing up the ladder. Well done to you. Uh, in the final game, uh, Little River Giants were hosting Archie's All-Stars. This game promised a lot, delivered very little. Archie's All-Stars, obviously the Alter Boy is very, very, very tired from the rogering that he gives them. They only scored 51.86. Little River Giants, 94.96. So 43-point win there to Little River Giants. Uh, for them, Prescott got 17. Hopkins got 16. Hooper got 10. Lambo, whoever Lambo is, he got 10. He's a kicker at where? Jacksonville. All right. And the Patriots got 25. Uh, for Archie's All-Stars, not much there. Diggsy got 14. Zerline got 13. Doesn't help when your quarterback gets minus 2.44. Matty Ryan, he obviously got Rogered too hard by the by Father Colour as well. David Johnson only rushed two yards, 0.2. Golladay, 2.1. So he had a lot of people that let him down. So I'm sure that there'll be plenty of fireworks at the um, the confessional and the altar this week as uh, Archie's tries to uh, bounce back. Uh, so, yeah, look, he's only just lost that one. So he's sitting okay at the moment. A uh, little bit of giant, so they're now two in a row, so they're climbing up the ladder as well. So well done to them. Great work, Shawnee. Um, so let's just recap this. The Cash, their first win of the year, beating Young Remix Killers. Money Makers 8 beat Team Mazar. Smooth Criminal beat Sheba Kamini. The Browns beat Mitch's Mongrels. Little Waiters in the upset of the season beat the Dark Side. And Little River Giants beat Archie's All-Stars. So that's pretty much my review of week seven. Let's just have a look at the ladder now and see what sort of changes have happened. Um, not a lot of changes. The Browns are still on top. They're now two games clear with seven wins, no losses. Um, in second, third and fourth spot, separated by points four. Archie's All-Stars are in second at five and two. The Dark Side are in third at five and two. And Mitchell's Mongrels are fourth at five and two. Um, in fifth spot is Little River Giants, four and three. Also Smooth Criminal in sixth spot, four and three. Uh, seventh spot, Team Mazza uh, has dropped a spot, three and four. Little Waiters, three and four. Then we've got Muddy Makers who went up. Um, they're on two and five. Shiba Kamini, two and five. The Cash now on the board, one and six in 11th spot. And in last spot, 
by 0.18. That's the, that's two yards, 0.18. Uh, Young Remix Killers, uh, one and six as well. Um, congratulations to the Dark Side 2 who picked up the uh, Taco Bell this week by leaving the most points on the bench. It was 50 something and they lost by five. So that's why the Taco Bell is such a great award. Okay, let's have a look, see what's happening. Just a quick little snapshot at what's happening in week eight of the FNFL. Uh, Rock for Cash uh, hosting Little Waiters. Mitch's Mungles hosting Smooth Criminal. Little River Giants hosting Moneymakers 8. Oh, big game. Team Mazza hosting The Dark Side. Shiva Kamini hosting Young Remix Killers. And The Browns up against Archie's All-Stars. That'll be the game of the round based on ladder positions, first versus second. So that's pretty much it for week seven, guys. Um, have a great couple of days i'll be back um or it'll be tomorrow thursday we'll preview week eight and just know the world's a better place when the cash wins that's the cash out